everyone. Happy Sunday to all of my Virgos, my virgins. Virgos, hopefully you all are having a great day on today. I know that you are because that is the intention you set. We're going to get right into your reading. This is a general reading, so please only take what resonates with you. If you're interested in a personal reading, my information is in the description below. Let's go. We are a couple of days away from the first quarter moon in Gemini. Yes, you and Gemini share your ruling planet Mercury. Yes. So, all right, Virgos, let's see here, let's see here, let's see here. All right, here we have the chariot card. We also have the high priestess. Mm -hmm. We're going to put these two together, and I'll tell you why in a second. We have the strength card. We have the king of swords. We have the Tower card. And we have the Page of Swords, right? Yeah, so somebody has coming to the end of a challenge, right? Coming to the end of a challenge. And it has had them really on edge. Look at this person walking a tightrope, right? So internally it has you on edge, even though it doesn't look like it on the outside, right? Just kind of had you on edge. But I see you looking back at this journey, this challenging journey. These are both you taking your power back, divine masculine energy. You taking your power back. I see how you are wiser. You're more knowledgeable about, knowledgeable about situations right now. You see things with complete and total clarity. Your throat chakra is no longer out of alignment at all, right? You're speaking into existence what you want. You're saying it out of your mouth, right? So in this time of vulnerability for you all, this tower card right here, this time of vulnerability for you all, it has been like being struck by lightning that's how the awakening has felt for some people it's like okay this speaking things into existence actually works hmm this releasing certain things in order for me to get what i'm asking for actually works so let me start practicing this speaking things into existence you all are very intelligent you're very analytical you're an honest sign. You're very reliable. Very, you all are perfectionists. Pra very practical, hardworking, kind, loyal sign, right? I see your intuition telling you to be more gentle with yourselves. Like really stop trying to be a perfectionist with yourself. Somebody has been so hard on themselves because, you know, other people on the outside have told you this about yourself, this, this. You're, that you're critical, that you're too judgmental, that you're too fussy, you're too slow to make some decisions, you question every little thing. But this is where you're going to really love up on yourself and marry yourself, like be in love with being a Virgo, right? That's the message that you're going to say to yourself. Remember I said we're coming up on a first quarter moon. So this may feel odd for some people to just say to themselves, stand in the mirror and say, I really love you. Like, I love this part of you. I love this part of you. I love it when you're this way, that way. Really kind of going down memory lane with yourselves. And also, again, tapping into your strength. Because you could have had, you know, somebody, some kind of a fire sign in your life that could have just came at you like blazing fire, like telling you, oh, you're to this, you're to that you're to this you're to that but again for you you're saying hey listen if I wasn't that way you wouldn't be who you are right you wouldn't I wouldn't I wouldn't me being me being a mutable sign you know um mutable signs and I mean what well, mutable signs are quite adaptable to situations so you all have a try you all have tried to adapt if you were dealing with a fixed sign like a um a um like a leo this is a leo then you may have had to kind of sort of say okay i'm no longer adapting so it's like you all kind of sort of pulled from each other i'm no longer trying to adapt to situations that just don't serve me i'm just i'm i'm comfortable with being me i'm happy being me and you just be happy being you right so some some serious realizations are coming but i do see somebody looking at themselves like really tapping into that strength and kind of getting away from the naysayers and the people who have criticized you or try to hurt you in some um in some way shape form or fashion and i do see you um being very very proud of the person that you you're becoming i had to be i had to kind of slow it down because 
I want to say the person you've always been. This is the person you've always been coming into this realm, pure consciousness. But some people think they're becoming this person. You've already been this. You've always been this person, right? And so that's where you're going to see creating legacy, right? It's almost like we can we can agree to disagree, um, but I'm not changing who I am. This is who I am. I, I was born to create legacy. Right, whatever that legacy is, it's not just about the big money, but it's what I'm also leaving behind. That my mother or my father was this way, and this is something that I've adopted myself, being a little bit more flexible, being a little bit more adaptable to situations. That's what I'm saying for you all, right? Or my cousin was this way. This is what you're leaving behind. Hey, listen, I had to tap into the Leo in me. I had to tap into the Cancer in me because this, this High Priestess card is attached to the moon, which is Cancer's ruling planet. We know that the moon is not a planet. It's a luminary, but it is aligned to our feelings, our subconscious habits, our moods, emotions, and our intuition, right? So somebody's intuition, again, is just like really on fire right now. And so you're looking back at things and this is what's exposed about you again that you are highly highly intuitive right and so your intuition you're starting to believe more in yourself now and really embrace your spiritual gifts that's why you are now unapologetic right this is why you're unapologetically a virgo yes you're taking those these blindfolds off virgo and you're seeing the silver lining like People have expected you to be perfect, but there's, there's no such thing as a perfect human being, right? You could try to get it right, but there's no such thing as a perfect human being. But I do see somebody removing the blindfolds and saying, I see the silver lining in all of this. This is what I learned from certain people around me. But I also know that I dropped off golden nuggets in their spirit too. That's part of the legacy that I'm leaving behind. So yes, I do see somebody... This right here means self-sabotage on every tarot card. Eight of swords, self-sabotage. I see somebody releasing themselves from bondage. Yeah, releasing themselves from bondage. This is how you're taking your power back. This is how you're taking action, right? And I see you looking for new windows of opportunity when it comes to money. And so here's the depth of the emotions that somebody had for somebody who may be going through. See, a tower moment is not always a bad thing. It's really about tearing down a belief system, the, the BS, belief system, right? And having a new space to rebuild. Like you, somebody tore down a building like to the core and then you cleaned away all the, de the debris and let's start over again and let's create something much better this time. We're going we're gonna to agree to disagree, but I'm not, I'm not changing who I am. I just understand who you are and you understand who I am, right? So this was the Kundalini experience. So before you looked at people as being snakes and now you're saying, hmm... Now I understand, I understand, and I overstand where they're coming from, but I also know that there's things about me that they appreciate as well. That's what you're able to see in the spirit realm, that they look at you and they say, I do appreciate some things about, I learned this from Virgo, I learned that from Virgo, right? So the Virgo that I thought was so bad and so horrific and horrible is not. I Now I, now I get it, now I understand the, what purpose they serve, but you're also saying the same thing about them, Virgo. So there's a lot of realizations happening um, during this new moon in Pisces phase, um, where a lot of people have time to sit back and really think about things, time to heal and receive from source, right? That's what I'm seeing. So somebody is really receiving a lot of information from source about so the challenging relationship as you once knew it before you're freeing yourself from bondage no more self-sabotage when it comes to this situation moving forward here we have the queen of pentacles again because of your compassion because of the way you love and the, the way that you the, the the energy that you're leaving to the world at large people are really starting to appreciate i'm gonna tell you something somebody said something about you virgo somebody told somebody that you know what this is what i really really like about virgos like, this is what I really, really appreciate about Virgos. And it really got that person to thinking. Or they may have complimented a person that you inspired. Maybe you were their parent. Maybe you were the child. 
and somebody said, you know, you remind me of so-and-so, but they're talking about a Virgo. You remind me of so You do certain things like such and such and such and such, and, and you had to look back and go, wow, I didn't realize I was doing that because my mother or father used to do the same thing, Virgo, right? So again, somebody is reminding somebody that you had a major influence in their lives. Whether they speak it out of their mouth or not, they're just kind of smiling to themselves like, wow, you know, if it really wasn't. So so, so what I'm saying is that they're, they're, these ropes around them and these blindfolds around their eyes have also been loosened, right? They, they're a little looser now, right? So everybody's kind of getting in this mindset of forgiveness. But again, I am who I am. And if it wasn't for the, me being the way that I am, leaving my legacy in the world, then I can see a lot of things would have been very different. I hope somebody is following me. Pleasure, right? I know what the card looks like, but this is about doing things that please you. And it has very little to do with just this, right? Just a sexual pleasure. But again, we're talking about doing things that you're very passionate about, right? Because it was a very passionate, um, you know, trying to get to this new phase, this new cycle. It's been very, very passionate. It's been very intense. That last quarter moon in Scorpio almost took some people out of here, like really just ruined some relationships, but it had to be completely torn down in order for something to be rebuilt. Yes, this is a general reading, so please only take what resonates with you, Virgos. I'm so happy for you and whoever else, how many other people are involved in this. I experience ecstasy in my body and soul. Yes. There is no reason to deprive your body of love, beauty, creativity, and inspiration. I want you all to go watch the video on the sacral chakra that I put up and some of the gemstones and the, the gemstones that boost and um, help to um, align that root chakra, I mean the, the sacral chakra, because somebody had something to do at something happened in a relationship with somebody and i'm going to go look, delve a little bit deeper something happened in a relationship with somebody between the ages of 8 and 14 whether and it has something to do because the sacral chakra has to do with the element of water but it has to do with intimacy emotions creativity and so though that's the tender age where people are just really discovering themselves this is where emotions and hormones are kind of sort of like you know running hand in hand like right next to each other but again so somebody could experience some kind of sexual trauma somebody could experience some kind of maybe the parents got a divorce or something that shook somebody to the core at that age maybe a parent left or somebody died or somebody moved or something between those ages that shook a relationship or some relationships to the core but now where you are this epiphany that you had is like wait a second Instead of me just holding on to this thing that was really, really blocking my legacy wealth and looking for new windows of opportunity and all this money coming my way and my happiness, peace, and joy, part of your legacy, I had to take the blindfolds off and look at the silver lining. Yeah, what did I get from this? What, what beauty did I find in this besides calling, calling the person sneaky and they're this and that and low vibrational energy? That is what I have for you, Virgos. Yes, happy Sunday to each and every one of you all. Hopefully you continue having a fantastic Sunday. I know you will because that is the intention you set, right? Bye.